She doesn't have the things I Foolish need. Foolish girl and her pre principles. She's got no idea who she's dealing with. Who exactly are you talking about? I have a new mission. Recent events have convinced me that I am not quite as tough as I need to be. And thus, I wish to gain some power. That, of course, keeping things straight, these means, well, embracing someone. Now, I do have a good candidate for it. A serial killer called Seymour Fishburn, whose own mother won't turn him in, but probably wouldn't be too unhappy to see him swinging from the gallows. Or just disappeared. I would like to find the last clue on his uh, list, but I may have to accept that is not a possibility. I will go and talk to them a little more. This, of course, is going to make this area a little, um, well, more hostile. And so I'm hoping to cheer a few people up, improve people's lives just a little, and hope that it balances things out. To wit, I want to make Rodney Grader a little safer by convincing... Where is she? Edwina Cox that he should not be touched. I'm assuming it's Digby and Cox that are the ones that probably want him dead. So... I... It won't be Archer, would it? He, he, he used to be the leader. No. Um, so... I have a task to make Edwina Cox a little happier, too. That task is down in Southwark. And I've got another task in that area to find a bomb site. Before I do that, though... I'm going to... Where's Tom? Okay. I'm supposed to be watching Tom now. Uh, uh, oh, something's going on. Something is going. Something is going on. How the hell do I? I've got my vampire tingly senses are going. I need. I need to see something that is going on. It's over there. I, I don't know how to get there. I do not know how to get there. This is aggravating. Oh, I missed it. Did I miss it? Can I miss it? Oh, right. Should I have gone this way? Damn it. Damn it. I did not know that I could miss those things. Oh, I need I need to know the lay of the land. Ah. Uh. Okay. I should just run as far away from this place as I can. That is so few clients. What with the epidemic, no one dares go outside. He was talking to her. She was not in here, was she? Let's talk to her first. What is going on? What is going on? You're still working at this hour. That's what I call dedication. Okay. About... Oh, that's right. I need to talk to Tom about his past, don't I? Probably should talk to Tom first. Goodbye, Miss Cavendish. Because I found out that he used to do time. All right, Tom? Welcome back, Doctor. What can I do for you? Right. About Sabrina's fear. Why does your waitress feel in danger working on the docks? This part of town is dangerous for all, but for women it's worse, as always. Sabrina is a brave girl, but she can't help feeling in danger. Do you think she has good reason to feel this way? Are you not worried about her safety? Of course I am. The truth is, she's tougher than me deep inside. She just has to learn to control it. Confidence issues. All right, then. 
Uh, ooh. Okay. Before we do that, let's just... Have you got any recent news on Sean Hampton's shelter? It's still there, just like the turquoise turtle. That means there is still hope, somehow. Okay, so things do sound good. They do sound good. All right. Tell me about your arrest for attempted murder, Tom. I tried to kill someone. I got arrested. I paid my debt and I have nothing to hide. No, 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 that's fine. Um, but out of curiosity, why did you stand there pointing the gun for so long? Um... So you mean your customers know about your sordid past? Yeah, why do you think this is the last pub open? I have nothing to hide and I don't judge. Good man. That's a relief for many round here. No, 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 good. your imprisonment in jail, yes. Do you think prison changed you? Made you a better man? Oh, I don't know about that. All I brought back is bad memories, scars, <laughs> and an ugly tattoo of a blue turtle. But do you feel cleansed of your sins? All I know is that I'm at peace. I did what I did, but I wouldn't do it again. Does that make me a better man? I don't know. Yes. No, that, 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 that would be a yes, mate. That's a yes, mate. Out of curiosity. I've got to know. I really do. You attempted murder. Give me some details. I was given an order. An order to kill. I was an obedient gang member at the time. Ah. A proud, wet boot boy. And you didn't want to do it in the end, did you? Why did you join the gang? Because I finally felt useful. Do you have any idea what it means to feel respected when the rest of the world shits on you? Uh, no, probably not. So you were ordered to kill someone. What happened then? I don't know if you can possibly understand, but... I couldn't kill him. I just stood there pointing my gun. Someone saw me. I gave up. Why couldn't you shoot? My target was eating in that fancy restaurant with mirrors and music. He was eating, drinking, laughing. He was having such a good time. I hated him for his bottomless appetite and easy life of easy pickings. And then something happened. You empathised with him? You refused to kill him because you wanted to feel some of that happiness yourself. You empathised with him. Exactly. The man was a bloody landlord who rented overpriced flats. A selfish bastard. But he made me smile. And I was no different from him. Is it? That's not the landlord in... Uh, is it? Could it be the other... That landlord in Whitechapel? Uh, maybe not. Why not leave town and start a new life after you got out of jail? I grew up in the East End. This is where my roots are. This is where I want to help others and die eventually. All right. Do you think the docks will always be a hive of scum and villainy? As long as poverty and fear run the show, I don't see how it would change. True. Misery loves company, as they say. Yeah, as long as that company is as miserable as itself. Don't you feel threatened, staying in such a violent and criminal neighborhood? I've made peace with my violent past, Dr. Reed. I may not be a pacifist, but I'm not angry anymore. Okay, so he used to be angry, though. So, he's renounced his criminal lifestyle. A lot more hints to unlock for you. But I, I, I you know... I'm I'm doing that more out of nosiness than actually wanting to improve his blood quality. Because I like him. Yes, I do. You lied to me, Tom. Your warehouse wasn't empty. It was inhabited with armed vigilantes. I'm sorry, Dr. Reed, but I thought those Prewin guards would be willing to let someone like you pass without trouble. That was devious of you, Tom. Next time you can bloody well go yourself. I apologize, Doctor. But it it's just that I prefer to avoid the laws, forces, and all manner of thugs in uniform. No, I totally and utterly understand. And, and oh, he prefers to avoid. And I totally get that, mate. The warehouse has been looted. No, no, here's your booze. Here is your booze. I hope it will appease your customers. 
Just try not to kill anyone with this poison of yours. <laughs> Believe me, Doctor, most of my customers are less agreeable when sober. All right, then. Worried about London's situation, are you? Are you concerned about the sanitary situation? It may surprise you, but I'm not. I've heard about the men at arms and the fights between gangs at night, but that's nothing new. I wish I shared your optimism. It's not optimism. Gangs have been fighting in this part of town since before I was born. This war will stop when enough blood has been spilled. Yeah. That is the way of war, isn't it? Goodbye, Mr. Watts. So... <coughs> <laughs> Just keep going until I one side says, I don't know. Alright. You're still working at this hour. That's what I call dedication. It's nosiness. Trust me, it's nosiness. I just want to know what you guys were talking about. Your life in London. Is there anything? Right. So you know about Were you aware of Tom's past incarceration? Of course That's she is. the first thing he told me when he offered me the job. He didn't want me hearing about his past from anyone else. Did it surprise you to find out about it? <laughs> Not really. I was already aware of his reputation before I met him. That's why I came to the Turtle in the first place. Most people would have run away because of that. Not me. I thought a man like him could give me stability, you know? At least to some degree. And I wasn't mistaken. All right, well, that's good to know is that... Ooh. Where are you from? Have I not Excuse my curiosity, but where exactly are you from, Miss Cavendish? Something bothering you? What, my name? Or my complexion? I don't judge someone on her skin colour. To be honest with you, I've not really noticed it. It's a bit dark and dim in here. Um, Believe me, I never judge someone on their place of birth or the colour of their skin. If that's true, you'd be one of the few not to make fun of me. Just you, Tom, Dyson, Miss Fishburne, and of course, Mr. Hampton. Mr. Oh, yeah, obviously. Yeah. Sorry if I worried you, I wasn't, you know. I'm sorry if I worried you. I was just curious to find out if you know this part of town well. Nosy. My dad was a sailor from Bombay, and my mum was a maid born up in Glasgow. They got married in London, and here I am. Okay. Fair enough. Has Tom renounced his life of crime? Is he up to any of his old dealings? It's not, it's not that I care, to be honest. If he's smuggling a bit of booze, I'm assuming he's not murdering people. Tell me, Sabrina, do you really believe Tom has renounced his life of crime? He proves it to me every day he tells the truth. Tom Watts is a good man. One of the best. And you don't think he might fall back into his sordid ways? We can all do terrible things, Dr. Reed. And we never That's know what true. we're really capable of until it's too late. Very, very true. Yes, it is. Have you heard anything about Sean Hampton's shelter? I was told he caught a deadly disease but survived against all odds. <laughs> Maybe he really is touched by grace. Yeah. Goodbye, Miss Cavendish. Touched by something, but... Uh... Not long ago. Right. I don't need to talk to you yet. I've got to find something for you. I need to remember where the hell everybody is. That's Archer. You're not the man I'm looking for. I'm looking for the serial killer. I really would like to get... Wasn't it around here? Wasn't it around here? There's Rufus. Evening, Rufus. Evening, Mr. Reed. Um, do we have any new... No, we don't have any new things available. All right. So long, Rufus. Be careful. Take care. And... Ah, oh, there he is. So, I honestly don't. I can feel it coming in my bones. The hatred. A wave of bitter death to drown and purge our city in wrath. See, I actually think I'll be doing this place a Good major favour. Yeah, yeah. Right. Still nothing. Damn it. I really want to know. What is going on? I really do. 
Have you heard anything recently about Sean Hampton's shelter? I don't give a rat's ass about Sean Hampton, his shelter, or any of the losers who sleep there. Yeah. Just, just, Goodbye, just... Mr. Fishburne. Before we leave here, you are getting sorted. Where was your mother's... I can't remember, wasn't it? It was one of the houses over here, wasn't it? This one? I think it was this one. Do I have one last chat Good with evening, her? Mrs. Fishburne. And then I'm going to give up. May I come in, please? Of course. Dr. Reid. I'm going to give up, and then... I'll probably do those couple of jobs I need to do in the south side. Good sleep. I've been nothing but worry. Okay. No clues. No other clues. No other... No. Yeah, I, I, I think I've exhausted all avenues here. What can I do for you, Dr. Reed? But let's just double check. Maggots and liars. I don't need to deal with him right now, so... I'll leave it until the last moment in case I discover something. I'm going to do those tasks on the south side and see if that helps out with Rodney and, of course, the local drunk. I need to actually decide who to give the watch to as well in the uh, Jack Gillingham investigation. I am very tempted to just give it to the lad so he can sell it and make... Make a decent life for himself. I don't think I want to destroy Enid Gillingham's mind any more than it's already destroyed by telling her her son is dead. So I think it's just all round the best if I can... Well, lie. Well, it's not even lie, really, is it? Just don't tell her her son is dead and give the watch to someone who will use it to improve their life. How the hell do I get over there? How the hell do I get up over the bridge, right? Yes, indeed. Will I be unopposed? I've not managed to find any traders that have the phosphorus powder I might need. Where's Where this? Oh, it's just a different bloody door. Oh. And over. I'm sort of returning to where this all started. Pruin. Yeah. I've still got a fair distance to go. However, am I. Oh. What about my. Best run along home, sir. Okay, no, it's... I, I, I thought maybe... It, whoa! I, get it, get it. Wait, why am I not... I thought maybe I... Oh, no, 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 no. I thought maybe I had the invisibility, but I didn't. Get, get past him, get past him. And then take this one out. Or, Oh, no, no, you've got the wrong... Of course, you were busy playing with your... Okay, finish that sentence carefully. You were busy playing with your weapons. Not... Actually, much better, no. no. Um... Okay. okay. All right. Stay back, Okay, I'm staying back. Thank you for the warning. That is actually very helpful. If you could do that... Okay, that's... Okay, that's my... I think that's my shield down. What's he doing? He looked like he was doing something. I order you to step back. I'm stem... Oh, I'm trying to get... I was trying. I was actually trying, mate. In this case. Oh. Ah. Oh. I really... I would like... Roll back. I would like to have drained him for a bit more blood. Yes, I would... Really? He's got no loot? Come on! Don't be a cheapskate now! Where am I going? There it is. 
Where am I going to find this phosphorus powder from? Okay, we came through there. Did, did we or did we? I can't quite remember, actually. Now, I've got to come up with the grave diggers over here. However, I have a feeling the site where the bombing took place is... It's somewhere in this neighbourhood. It could be anywhere. So I need to keep my eyes open. What was in here? Oh, this is... Oh, wow, yeah, this is... This is where I started. When I was running from them. Spent my first night around here. Yes, I did. Nostalgia. You see? Nostalgia. Locked. All right, that's... Little annoying. What is that? Oh, is that a safe house? That's probably a safe house. Let's just finish off looting. Can't go back there. That is where I came through. Yes, it is. So I need a key to get in. This guy down there. New hideout! All right, then. Let's just break a few things down, etc., etc. Right, the shotgun is now upgraded. Do I want to boost the damage, or do I want to wait for one of these? And if so, which do I want to choose? What, what is that one? Adds five stun points whenever projectiles reach their targets. Oh, I'm going to need some rivets. I need to start collecting rivets. They are quite expensive. But I like stuns. I'm all about the stuns. Yes, I am. Which beasts are the most dangerous? You would think it was the vampires and beasts. So all your weapons should be focused on them. But some of those humans are actually pretty tough. But they're not that tough, are they? I, I think all round, white phosphorus is the best option for both of these. But what I might do is put, say, white phosphorus on the shotgun. And then normal firepower increase on the pistol. Maybe. You know what? I sort of feel like I want to take these guys out anyway. Just because, you know. Let's do it. Oh! That's such a lot! Right. And... No! You... Won't! What you will do is you will fall over and die. Thank you very much. Probably can't open that. Oh yes, I can. I can go that way. Did I see something else? Flashing and blinking. That's the way I need to go. Yes, it is. He says. Go the other way. I didn't come down here. Oh, this is... This is the original... This is the safe house I ran into. Yes, it is. Aha, this is where I did my first whoosh. And there were lots of dead people. And I shot myself and then woke up. Again, nostalgia. I do reflect, though. Which is surprising. I always did think vampires were not supposed to have a reflection. There you go. This doesn't really help me beyond just... This place looks like the picture I saw of the bomb site. Oh! Or... Or it's actually the bomb site. Yes. 
The place has changed since the explosion, but it was definitely here. Uh, I should find some way to pay my respects. Okay. Flowers. Flower bouquet. Is this the memorial? May all who suffered from this tragedy find or rest in peace. Brilliant. One. Oh. Talk to. D right. So now I can talk to him and tell him I placed something there. Yes. More good deeds to balance out the bad deeds that I am planning on doing. Right, let's just. I want to go this way. This is. This is the way I came, isn't it? Yes. I remember. This is the place I first suffered. From uh, sunlight damage. Yeah, we're, we're going to be we're we're doing the fledgling vampire tour here. Okay, we got s Priven Fire Executioner. That's a tiny bit. Yeah, the the invisibility would be really nice about now, but. Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm trying to get... Thank you. Thank you. Stop interrupting. That's very rude. Whoa. And that was even ruder. It really was. And these guys are actually quite tough. Although... What happens when you... Okay. Nice stun. Oh. It ran out, it ran out, it ran out. Getting caught. What? Oh. They must have been on a patrol, and I... Murdering bastard! Yep. Although you did start it. I, 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 I mean, I have to point out here. You came up, called me a m leech, which is very rude. And then started shooting. You you can't really complain when I then turn round and murder you right back. That just seems hypocritical, really, doesn't it? People should. Okay, rogue. Aircon. Uh, I sort of need to be going in this direction, don't I? Why is that a rogue Econ, and why is he apparently hostile? I'm not. Are you from Ascalon? No, I'm not. As far as I know. Oh, oh, terrible dog. Oh, okay, okay, okay. This is not. That's. That! Really? Not very many friendly vampires. This is why vampires don't rule the world, isn't it? They're all out killing each foundry kid. Where do you think that opens? I mean, is there some? Uh huh. Here. Oh. Ah, is this is this how I was supposed to be getting there? Well, I'm going to go upstairs first of all. Looks like we've got. You know, I really do. Oh. I thought I could sneak up on him. And I almost did. Although, apparently I don't really have to worry too much about those guys. As long as there's only one. 
Ring and codeine. Now, what I would really like to do is find things like that. Laughing at the guard. For more than a century, the guard of Pruin has been a dissident faction from the Brotherhood of St. Paul Stole. It is important, as the divergence of opinion between our two fraternities are now well established, to remember what happened and why we shall, alas, consider these former brothers our op opponents and adversaries and mock their lord of conduct. Kendall Stone founded the Guard in 1801. He was a former legate of the Brotherhood, a long-standing member of the Brotherhood Council. His departure was the result of an irreconcilable dispute within the Council. When Kendall stated that the Brotherhood had to reconsider its non-violent approach to the study of vampires and that the eradication of these immortals had to be the ultimate goal of our researches. I'm getting a whole Watchers sort of vibe from these guys. Yes, indeed. Watching the immortals and then deciding, nope, we have to kill them all off instead. Since the terrible sch schism occurred, relations between the Guard and the Brotherhood have always been difficult. The Guard of Priwin considers the Brotherhood as traitors and allies of their foes, while we call them thieves and zealots for the many ancient and precious books we kept for centuries, which they destroyed or stole when they left. I will constantly re recuse any accusation of cowardice, for I know the courage it requires for our brothers to approach and observe hostile immortals. I will never forget the cruel loss of unique texts and scrolls burnt by Kendall and its followers when they left, and I will never cease to laugh at their stupidity, revealed in their very name, since they chose to call themselves the Guard of Priwin as a reference to King Arthur's shield, thus defining themselves as the true defenders of this land. When the true scholar perfectly knows that in the book of Talisin, Pridwin is only the name of Arthur's boat during his expedition to the mythical territories of Unwin. Un... Okay, I'm not even going to try and say that. What a symbol indeed. From Whispers of Our Past by Usher Talltree, Primate of St. Paul. These three warring factions... Am I going to find out that the Brotherhood and the Ascalon Club are actually in communication with each other? I'm, I'm sort of expecting that to be the case. Right. I'm also... I'm, I'm just getting this vague feeling that there should be more here. Yes. I do. Oh, well, there's stuff, stuff to loot. That's always a good thing. Right. I did hear... Okay. Pruin? Right. I... I really do... I really do feel, at this point, this is still the way to go. Get the drop on them. Oh, a what? What? Why? Is that, what? Why is that on a timeout? I'm not cast it in forever. Can I, can I sneak up on this guy? Yes! Oh, that was not what I wanted to do! Okay, no, 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 no. Ah, oh, I saw that right at the last minute. That's gonna hurt. Oh, fast. I actually want. Oh, I wanted to stop talking about what you want to do. Oh, and start just get blood from these people to replace the blood you just lost through abject stupidity. Right. Fine. Nothing else, no clues, just loot. I say, just loot. I do know, I know that's sort of heresy and everything, but... Okay. Right, 
about now I would actually trade the loot for clues. I need to get a clue. Yes, I do. So the grave diggers or grave robbers. Was it grave robbers? Grave diggers. Grave diggers. Okay. Do I just keep heading in this direction? I think so. It's eerily quiet. Ah, right. I remember this place as well now. There was a guy stood up there shouting at me. Yes, we're still doing the nostalgia run. Can I even get back up? Yes, I can. This place. Rain may have washed away the blood, but not the memory. Oh, yeah. My this poor man. This is where I killed Ish. Her. Yes, it is. And... Right. This is where I was reborn. Okay, I got some shells. That's... Nope. Come on. Is it just going to be loot, 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 fight, loot, go home, none the wiser? Is, is that what it's going to be? Oh, God, these guys... This is my watch. Damn grave robbers. Okay, well... Ooh. Warning note. Hello, boys. About your last message concerning your mission to loot corpses in Southwark. I'll only say it once. Deal with it. And be glad I don't report your protest to Edwina. She might go there herself and cut your balls off. A little bird also told me you made a few jokes about what I saw by the pier. For, so now I'm just a loony scared by his own shadow. Or a nutcase who mumbles and trembles like an old woman about ghost stories. Good. I like it when my boys are happy. Be assured that nut that nutcase will come to piss on your bloody carcasses after the monster I saw has sucked your brains out. Enjoy the following nights, fellows. I heard they will be foggy and rainy. Booth D. Okay. So he's seen something. What did you see? I need to talk to you again, don't I? Booth believes in supernatural creatures and events. Well... That's pretty reasonable. Go tell Edwina Cox. Oh, report the death of the grave diggers. Hide the truth. Why would I hide the truth? Why would I hide the truth about the grave diggers, to be honest? What possible motive would I have for hiding the truth from them? And is that it? Is that is that all I came to do? Is there a quick way across? Oh, this was probably the quick way to get there in the first place, wasn't it? Ah, well. Let's go back. Should I talk to Digby first, maybe? You again. What do you want? I want to talk to you about... You believe monsters are real? I know you believe monsters are real, Booth. They are. I know, I saw one, but no one believes me. Tell me what you saw. Tell me what you saw. It was a few years ago. Clay Cox was still the boss then. He'd sent me to the shipyard to find out who was stealing tools and ropes at night. Go on. First, I thought it was an old lady with a limp. It looked frail and crooked. Then I saw it grab a bloody beam and lift it like it was a stick. Okay. I shouted. It looked straight at me. Do you know what it was? Why would you shoot? Eyes and long teeth, but I, I, could, I couldn't see its face. I shot at it when it moved towards me and I hit it. And then it jumped and vanished in the shadows. You could have imagined all that. These docks can be so gloomy at night. With the fog and the wind and the boats creaking. No, Doctor. That night I saw the fucking sewer dog for real. 
It's not a beast, like the stories say. It's the ghost of an old woman. Bullets can't stop it. But no one believes me. But... They shouldn't be mocking you for seeing the sewer dog. They should be mocking you for shouting. You see a... You see a, a sickly old woman pick up a beam as though it were a stick. Here's what you do. You go very, very quiet and you start shuffling backwards very, very quickly, okay? Preferably quietly and quickly at the same time. Are your friends mocking you? Are your friends mocking you? Even if Weena told me once to never speak about it, but I know what I saw, and it wasn't a human. Not human at all. Well, no, she, she's, she's not human anymore. I met her, she's quite nice though, actually. You shouldn't, shouldn't judge, you really shouldn't. Goodbye, Mr. Digby. Okay, right. So. Good evening, Miss Cox. Hello again, Dr. Reed. What do you want? I want really to talk to you about Rodney. Uh, about, oh, I want to talk about that, yes. Tell me your feelings about Booth's belief in monsters, Edwina. It makes him look weak in front of the boys. That's my feeling about it. But ghosts don't scare me. You don't believe he really saw something then? I don't care what he saw or not. All I know is that a real man keeps his fears to himself if he wants to be obeyed. Okay. Which one? Uh, Edwina does not trust Booth Digby's leadership since he is superstitious. Okay then. So, uh, was that? That was that. Are you worried about the sanitary situation in London? The bodies are piling up, but I'm not afraid. I'm still alive, and I intend to stay that way. All right, positive outlook. I reached the... Yeah, here we go. I managed to reach the mass grave in Southwark. It was not pleasant. Spare me the details, Dr. Reed. All I want to know is what happened to those bastards who owed me money. Oh, they were nowhere to be found. Why would I even... Why would I say that? They're dead. They're dead. I'm afraid those bastards, as you call them, are in the mass grave. Dead. Shit. That money would have been useful. Well, I'll tell my boys to avoid the place if it's that dangerous. Yes. Everybody should avoid that place until further notice. Okay then, Doctor. It looks like you deserve your reward after all. The wet boot boys thank you for your help. Uh, oh, and trade. I don't need to trade from you at the moment. Having done something nice for you, no. Uh, oh, do you have more work? What can you tell me about your work? I'm a businesswoman. I buy and sell things, and I send my wet boot boys after anyone who don't play nice. We got that me. bit. We got that. Gang member and shopkeeper can't be easy running double shifts. If you're interested, I may find use of a doctor who can freely walk across the city. You know. All right. Um. Tell me about it. You're quite blunt, aren't you? I like people who know what they want and say what they think. This is a time of great opportunity for those ready to embrace their destiny. But nothing else? Well, then I'm not interested. Sorry. I'm not interested in a career in the criminal underworld, Miss Cox. Fair enough. Stay away from us, then, if you don't want to get hurt or worse. Since my return from the war, I don't feel that concerned by threats, knives, or even bullets, if you must know. That's exactly what that stupid trade unionist claimed after he attacked one of us. Booth and I reminded him a bullet beats words every time. Ah! They recently killed a man in retaliation. I... Oh... Ah, I now have them both completely unlocked. Although, not that I'm going to do anything about that. I oddly Goodbye, feel Ms. they Cox. are at least somewhat stabilizing in this neighborhood. I do want to talk, me laughing at first. talk to him Pleasure, about sir. it. You again. What do you want? I've told you, I'm a nosy person, and I want to know about the guy that you killed. Tell me about the man you killed, Booth. What happened? One of us had been killed, so we had to retaliate. 
That's the whole story. There has to be more to it than that. Jack. No, really. One of us got killed, so the killer had to die. That's how things have always been done round here. No one gives a shit. Are you that hard? You're wrong. You are wrong. I think you're wrong. Maybe the docks have always been violent. But you can't say the living don't suffer because of it. And then what? Let the commies and the anarchists rule? Nah. We're the wet boot boys. Our fathers died on these docks and they belong to us. I'm not... I mean, I get it. I do. But... Okay, is, is that... Is... Well, here's Goodbye, the thing. Mr. They killed someone who killed one of theirs. Was that the Jack character? And if so, does this mean Rodney is now safe? And out of curiosity, where the hell is Rodney? Pleasure.